10 Things You Didn't Know About Loewe Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, travel, money and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing the 10 things you didn't know about Loewe. Loewe is one of the world's major luxury houses, founded in 1846 in Spain and today under the creative direction of Jonathan Anderson. Loewe is defined by an obsessive focus on craft and unmatched expertise with leather, dating back to its beginnings as a leather-making collective. In recent years, we have seen the popularity of Loewe grow exponentially. The new youthful and effortless cool vibe of the brand is what has been attracting the millennial and Gen Z crowd. But all that is still done with impeccable Spanish craftsmanship and materials. At the end of the video, we have a bonus fact that may surprise you. So without further ado, here are 10 things you didn't know about Loewe. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram, at Luxficom. Number 10. Loewe is one of the oldest luxury brands. Loewe started in 1846 as a workshop and collective dedicated to leather making. It wasn't until 30 years later, in 1876, when the technically gifted leather maker Enrique Loewe Rosberg arrived from Germany, took the helm and consolidated the operation under a unified banner. He gave the company his name, and the brand as we know today was born. Loewe is a Spanish brand with a German name. That is why many people are confused about the pronunciation of the name. The correct way is Loewe with a V. Number 9. Craft is the essence of Loewe. Loewe's story began as a workshop and collective dedicated to leather making, and ever since they have valued artisanal techniques in their approach to modern design and refined manufacturing. Passing down the knowledge and wisdom from one generation of master artisans to the next, the rich legacy of Loewe craftsmanship remains the living soul of the house. These core values are reflected in Loewe's belief in the importance of craft in today's culture, in their modern interpretations of historical artistic achievements, and in their commitment to supporting contemporary art, craft, and culture around the world. Jonathan Anderson said, Craft is the essence of Loewe. As a house, we are about craft in the purest sense of the word. This is where our modernity lies, and it will always be relevant. Number 8. Loewe didn't intend on being a luxury brand. Enrique Loewe, fourth generation of the Loewe family, told the Spanish newspaper El País, We didn't know we were doing luxury. Our aspiration was to do things well, be consistent with the artisan soul that we have helped to enhance as a culture and as a company. Later, they called it luxury, but we did things our way in a deeply artisanal way. He also said, Luxury has often been confused with new wealth, with having a lot of money, or with the price. Luxury is not a visible and brilliant thickness, but a profound expression of the sense of beauty of an object, of a life, or of a person. I believe in true luxury. In other words, in something more linked to the personality, the seriousness, the beauty of a brand, a person, or a fact. Not in what is glossy and flashy. Number 7. Only after a hundred years, Loewe launched a ready-to-wear collection. Loewe's formative years were focused on leather goods, just as most other luxury brands. It was only in 1965 that Loewe launched its first ready-to-wear collection. Even after that, their clothing division walked in very slow steps. In the 2000s, only 10% of Loewe's income came from the ready-to-wear line. That only changed when Jonathan Anderson took the helm as creative director in 2013. Number 6. Loewe was bought by LVMH LVMH acquired Loewe in 1996. It was the smallest of LVMH brands, but they had high hopes for it. They started appointing creative directors that would bring new life to the brand. First in 2007 with Stuart Wovers, and then in 2013 with Jonathan Anderson. The addition of a young, culturally aware designer like Anderson to a conservative fashion house is characteristic of LVMH, which has revitalized brands such as Celine with Phoebe Philo and Harris Lehman, not to mention the appointments of Kim Jones and Virgil Abloh to Louis Vuitton, all of which have been extremely successful into bringing a breath of fresh air into brands that people were getting tired of. 
if you are enjoying this video so far, we strongly recommend you to subscribe to our channel, so we can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 5. Jonathan Anderson transformed Loewe Since taking the helm, Jonathan Anderson has spearheaded a major rejuvenation of the house including a bold new visual identity, adding a spark of spontaneity and playfulness to the brand. Through a fresh redesign of the brand's identity, the house has been further elevated as an influential and global cultural force. Anderson taking the reins at Loewe coincided with an era that saw enjoying fashion become fashionable. Loewe is experiencing a huge success due to the streetwear style of Anderson's creations. Number 4 Loewe is super popular with rappers. Anderson's understanding of pop culture and the power of association has helped elevate Loewe to a new level of cool. Before Anderson's arrival, the brand had a reputation for being stuffy and straight-laced. After luxury fashion houses and their logos became mainstream, influential figures such as ASAP Rocky and Pusha T stepped into the world of Loewe as a cool brand untarnished by hype that was offering something refined yet contemporary. Designs like the bandana shirt and the pink tuxedo ASAP wore for a pre-Grammy party are a perfect representation of this new Loewe. Jonathan Anderson was smart to ride this hype and cast ASAP as the face of spring-summer 2019 lookbook. Number 3. Their most famous bag is the Loewe Puzzle. The Puzzle Bag was the first new bag designed by Jonathan Anderson and was first introduced in June 2014. Since then, this bag has become a classic. The Puzzle Bag's innovative cuboid shape is meticulously handcrafted to create a supple yet distinctively geometric silhouette. You can choose between a range of colors or stick to the neutrals. This is a perfect everyday bag. The mini puzzle bag in classic calf skin is sold on the Loewe website for $1,900. US Number 2. The Loewe Raffia Tote is this summer's IT bag. Raffia Tote bags have been a hallmark of the quintessential summer wardrobe for decades. However, while the carry-all has typically held an under-the-radar effortless kind of appeal, last year Raffia tote bags became quite the it item, thanks to Loewe. Featuring an adjustable leather handle and the brand's instantly recognizable insignia, Loewe's Raffia tote bags are appearing in the best summer locations worldwide. From Camille Charery and Pernille Thais Beek, the item solidified itself as one of the most popular staples of the season. Of course, while the bag might have had a moment in the spotlight in 2020 and 2021, the beauty of the Loewe Tote is that it is a timeless investment that will see you through the summers to come. Number 1. Jonathan Anderson wants Loewe to grow slowly Anderson told Vogue, it's about really sticking to your guns and not hearing too much noise. Make sure you are driven in terms of making good product. The brand is growing and I really feel like the woman is very defined now. When you look at Loewe clothing or a bag, you know it's Loewe. It's about getting consistently better. You can always get better. Ultimately, the whole point is to make a brand more productive so that you can employ more people. I feel I have a responsibility to Loewe. I don't own Loewe. It's a brand that has been going since 1846. I don't want to mess it up. I want to make sure it can last another 200 years. That's a wrap on our list of the 10 things you didn't know about Loewe. Let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite, or if you are a true Loewe fan and already knew all of this. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And for sticking with us this far, here is some bonus information. Loewe campaigns have been crucial to the rebranding of the house. Loewe's advertising campaigns have proven to be a significant element in the rebrand of the Spanish house. Each season, creative director Jonathan Anderson works with M.M. Paris, Benjamin Bruno, and Steven Maisel to create a series of unforgettable images. All the campaign elements are examples of Loewe's multifaceted identity, related in spirit, singular in character. Together, they convey Loewe's uniquely modern stance, a fashion-driven, open to different approaches and inspirations, using ideas to connect past, present, and future.
Thank you for spending some time with us and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, we provide you the best content about fashion, travel and luxury living. See you soon!